Ooh, the crowd's pretty thin here. Yeah, good idea for a vantage point. The riverbanks were packed. I'm surprised you found a quiet spot like this. Oh no, I knew about it. I pass by the mountainside a lot. Customers ask me about it too. And you never tell them about it to preserve this spot's sanctity, right? I wonder if Nanako-chan will make it. I called and told her where we'd be before I left. I'm sure she'll be fine. Hey, where's Teddy? Where is Teddy? Not only was he hitting on girls non-stop, he accidentally put the moves on Hanako and she dragged him away. Oh, good. He ducked into his bear skin right away and acted like a bear, but he still got dragged off without a word. Whoa! Can we just leave him like that? Yeah, yeah we can. Sure we can. His karma caught up to him. Took long enough. Aren't you being a little cold to Teddy today, Yosuke-senpai? When I think back to what he did this morning, no, I really don't. What did you do this morning? Truth be told, I wish I could send two or three more Hanukos at him. Ooh, maybe that's going a little far. Dude, that would kill him. What happened, anyway? I don't even want to remember it. For the sake of the rest of our curiosities, remember, Yosuke. He dug up some private stuff from my room and brought it to the Hanamura family breakfast. He was all like, Yosuke, what's this magazine about? Wow. Can you imagine the humiliation I went through because of him? It's your fault for having that stuff. That's true. Kind of. It's not like I ever thought anyone would wave it around in front of my parents. Even still. Is this really what you want to be talking about with girls around? She raises a good point. Quit while you're ahead. Huh? Is he not talking about his secret savings? Yeah, Yukiko, that's exactly what he's talking about. Secret savings for a guy. Right. Let's just leave him be. <laughs> Oh, sounds like he might have escaped. Teddy? <laughs> what a tragedy. My lovely fur is completely ruined. That's... Okay, that's worse than I was expecting. Looks like he was on bottom? Anyway, people are going to stare at you like that. Hurry and take it off. But... I'm like a newborn child inside. Uh, not again. Just like your magazine from this morning, Yosuke. <laughs> Quit reopening this morning's wounds. There they are. <gasps> Big bro. Nanako. We were hoping you'd show up. Hey, Nanako-chan. Looks like Dojima-san made it in time. That's awesome. We were waiting here for you, so hoping you'd show up. <laughs> I made it. Sorry if I made you nervous. I didn't quite finish my paperwork, but I figured a dachi could handle the rest. Hey there, little lady. Wanna launch some fireworks of love with me? Teddy, that's my sister. How do you do that? Well? Cut it out, Teddy! Do you want Tojima-san to haul you in? Things are heating up down there. Is it about to start? Does that mean it'll be starting soon? Really? Don't listen to him. Stop messing with her, Teddy. Sometimes you're unbearable. Was that supposed to be a joke? 
Oh, looks like this one's a doozy. Oh, Ooh. you're right. <laughs> Beautiful. Ted Playa. I love fireworks. They're such a good mood setter. That concludes our program for the Summer Fireworks Festival. Thank you for coming, and all of us here in Inaba hope to see you again next year as well. Man, that was amazing! Totally worth coming out here for. Absolutely. Because you got to stuff your face, right? So what? You were all munching on snacks too! There's nothing wrong with eating. An extra large steak bowl doesn't qualify as a snack. It's nighttime, it's dinner. Did you have fun, Nanako chan? Thank you, Yukiko. Mm -hmm. You sleepy? I'm sleepy. <laughs> okay, well, let's go home then. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's about time for you to be home in bed. I'll take Nanako back. Make sure you guys don't stay out too late, huh? Oh, thank you. Yeah, we won't. Bye-bye, Nana-chan! Bye-bye. Yeah, the fireworks were great, but... I don't know, it just feels like summer's just about over. Summer is just about over. I'm all right with that. When I'm working, I have to wear fall clothes during the summer so I don't get a sense of the seasons changing. But this year, I went to the beach and saw some fireworks. I even got to wear a yukata out to the summer festival. The festival, huh? Well, thanks to a certain someone, I don't have anything but bitter memories of that. Teddy seems to give you lots of those, doesn't he? Really? That someone is you. Well, I had fun. Oh yeah, you were good at that candy cutting. Wait, that's not what I meant. I was expecting something more... more bittersweet and stuff. Huh? Right? Um, don't... Uh... Sure. W wait a sec, what does that mean? What are you comparing it to? <gasps> he doesn't know that I went back the next day. Uh... Nothing. Did, did you go with someone else the next day? Uh... Uh... Chie, you don't look well. Did you eat too much? Are you feeling bloated? No, it's not my stomach. So much as my chest. You might want to go home and sleep, then. We should all go home. Hmm? Dude, seriously? I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Like you're any different. Oh, yeah. Should we have asked that kid to come with us today? What kid are you talking about? Uh, well... Oh... Naoto. Oh, him. I think Kanji has a thing for him. Yeah, I guess so. When you think about it, we were working on the same case in a way. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we might not ever see him again. I'd hate to leave it with him like that. I said some harsh things. You know, I remember him saying something that sounded pretty sad. Then again, I doubt he's the type who'd accept even if we had invited him out to see the fireworks. That's possible. I wonder if he's not here anymore. Oh yeah, didn't he say he was only here for the investigation? He seemed to be busy, so maybe he's already working on another case in some faraway town. Huh. Sorry, Kanji. Sorry, I didn't mean
mean to be a downer. There's no point in wondering what might have been. He was a pretty good-looking guy, too. He might have been a roadblock in... Uh, other ways. Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Shut up! You don't have to say it twice! Poor Yosuke. Oh, you finally came down! Yeah, are you, are you waiting for something? Um, I got a call from Dad! He said someone gave him a watermelon! It's too big for us to eat, so he said you should call your friends over. Oh. Um, okay. Do you think Teddy and your other friends can come? If you want them to, I'm sure they would. Okay, I'll call them. Well then get your ass over here, bro. I'm gonna call up the others, so you better not smack it open before we get there. Wouldn't dream of it. Yeah, and quickly, too. Um, Dad got a watermelon from someone, so he said we should call everyone. Man, a watermelon. Because of all the stuff that's gone down this summer, I completely missed out. So, where is it? The fridge? Gee, Kanji, they invited us over. At least show some manners. Is that in Kanji's vocabulary? We gotta smack it open first. Huh? Are we seriously gonna do that? We can't eat it if it gets all crushed. But, but doesn't it sound like fun? Can we smack it open... gently? I want to do it too! I guess it's settled then. I'll swing at it with everything I've got! The splattering fruit juice, bursts of joy, one night of love, the bitter sweetness of those days is the essence of youth! Well, Yosuke was looking for something bittersweet. Makes no sense at all. But yeah, it doesn't make sense. And dude, will you cut out those commercial lines of yours? They are kind of like commercials, aren't they? That's the essence of youth. Come on, you're rubbing off on Nanako, Teddy. I'm home. Whoa, that's a lot of shoes. How many people are here? Uh, everyone? Is that okay? Say what? Ah, well, you see. Ah. Come on, Nanako. Don't pout. Everyone came here to hang out, right? I'm really sorry. It's okay, Nanako. We didn't have to split it open. Next time, maybe. It never occurred to me you'd want to do that. Nanako-chan, let's do it again sometime. Next time, we'll do it right at the beach. Seconded. Whoa, does that mean we get another chance to see you in bathing suits? Don't say that in front of Nanako and Dojima, Yosuke. Oh, there probably aren't enough days left. We'll have to do it next year. Next year? Will you play with me next year, too? Of course. Of course we will! You betcha! You betcha! Did you hear that, Nanako? That was a whole bunch of resounding yeses.
Thanks for everything today. Uh, we didn't really do anything worth thanking. It's been a while since I last saw Nanako in high spirits like that. Well, I'm glad she was happy. <laughs> the case is finally solved. Now for all the... <laughs> all the what? Ah, uh, never mind. Save it for some other time. Well, I'll hold you to that, okay? You know, you really made some great friends. I'm glad you approve. I think they're pretty great, too. No, it's the 1st of September! No, school starting. Oh. Goodbye, my life, my summer. Morning. Morning, Chie. How are you so chipper this morning? Good morning. Morning, Yukiko. Oh, summer vacation's over already. I know it. Yo, guys. I got lost on my way here. Really? Vacation was pretty long. Not that long. Sheesh. Yeah, I'm with Chie on this one. Whoa. Good morning. Good morning. Y you? You're that, uh, pint-sized detective. That's not very nice. I beg your pardon? My name is Naoto. Please don't give people bizarre nicknames you make up on the spot. Um, you know this is a high school, right? My cooperation with the police has come to an end. However, there are aspects of the case with which I remain unconvinced. There are some family-related issues as well, so I've decided to stay here for the present. From today forth, I'll be a first year at your high school. Really? And I felt that I should at least introduce myself to you all. Well, it's nice to meet you in a less official capacity. I trust our relations will be cordial, senpai. Oh, yes, absolutely. The cordialist of cordialities. Boys are underclassmen? Well, he said he was a first year. Okay, well, that's interesting. No, no, I don't watch those shows. In fact, you might be the only male on the face of the earth who does. Chie would love this guy. Oh, uh-huh. Venison? Uh... Well, it's definitely both wild boar and deer, so I guess it's all of the above. Oh, okay. Oh, I did not know that. Wait, the school trip is next week? Well, maybe it's not so bad that school started back up today. If we're already going to have a trip, then maybe that's not such a bad deal.
Man, school's as dull as ever. With the case closed, the days feel so empty all of a sudden. Come on, Yosuke. Everything went back to normal. It's a good thing. It is a good thing. I didn't mean it that way. It's just... Hey, we're stopping by Juness later, right? Why don't we ask Naoto-kun to join us? Oh, well, I just thought, since he doesn't know anyone yet, he must feel lonely. Sure, why not? Invite him. Didn't he say he came here to help out with the murder case? With the case closed, he's just an ordinary guy now. And if you think about it, that makes him a transfer student, just like us. Well, then us transfer, us transfer students should make him feel welcome. Hello, senpai. Hey, Risei. Maybe he transferred here out of plain stubbornness. Because he doesn't seem like he's only in it for fun. All right, let's see if he wants to hang out with us. A celebrity coming to school is already a surprise, but a detective is even rarer. Really? I would think a celebrity would be rarer. I'm a little curious to see what his family's like, too. There's that and the fact that he's a detective at his age. No, oh, that was easy. Oh, speak of the devil. There's the little guy. You don't know the area yet, right? Come on, we'll show you around. There's probably tons of places to hang out that only we'd know about. That won't be necessary. Ooh. I'm not interested in hanging out, and neither am I interested in you two. Oh, shots fired. Huh? Hey, what did you say? What's with that attitude? We're just trying to be friendly. Jeez, way to make an impression. Tell me about it. Yo, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Oh, um... <laughs> hey, guys. Sup? Uh, well, we'll be going now. See ya. So we meet again. May I help you? It's not like we're trying to be threatening by surrounding you in a circle or anything. But... Hey, Naoto-kun! If you're not doing anything after school, wanna come with us? Come with... You mean me? Uh, yeah? Perhaps another time. I have some things to mull over. But it'll be fun. We're going to Juness. We can... Show you the secret meeting place, which isn't really a secret nor a meeting place anymore. Things to mull over? I must go straight home today. I promised my grandpa so. Oh, well, if you promised, I guess. Grandpa? Oh well, that's that then. Let's hang out some other time. A promise can't be broken, nor can this be helped. Man, did you see Naoto's attitude? He sure blew his debut at school. Is he gonna be okay at Yasogami? He is different, but he has this mysterious air around him that draws your attention. Whoa, Yukiko, I never knew. You like younger guys? Like Kanji? No, that's not what I meant. Hmm. Naoto-kun said he has things to mull over, but he's got to be talking about the murder case. Didn't he say there were things he wasn't yet satisfied with or something? He's some ace detective, right? I bet he's not satisfied, even though the case is closed. That's true, but... <laughs> Who knows? This place isn't our special headquarters anymore. It could be our special headquarters for something else. Uh, let's talk about something else.
isn't the class trip coming up soon? Um, where are we going? Tatsumi Port Island. Wait. I heard it's an artificial island that faces the ocean. It's a pretty big city. They have a school there, don't they? Huh? Port Island? I did tons of shoots there. It's just beyond the Moonlight Bridge, yeah? Should be lots of places to hang out there. Uh, actually, we may not have any time to goof off during this trip. Wait, why? I heard the school board is changing the trip schedule this year. The idea is we're going to visit a private school there, like to have local and urban students interact or something. Do you know what the name of the school is? It'll be all about studying and serious business. Oh, yuck. Ugh, they're totally missing the point of a class trip. What kind of place is this private school? I heard it's really good. They have nice buildings and everything. But it's closed on the day we're going there, so they're going the extra mile to make this work. They want us to tour some factories on the second day, and then we're coming back on the third day. That's no different from a social studies field trip. Uh, I didn't want to know that. Sorry, Yosuke. Can't expect much from a school-sponsored trip, I guess. Well, we'll be around, so if it starts to drag, we can ditch. I'll show you guys around. But we're in different years. Oh, didn't you know? The excursion will be like the campout. They're going to combine the first and second years. Well, then, leave it to Rise and me. I've never really been there, but... For some reason, it feels like in another life I have or something. Since student enrollment is down and they're low on funds, they've cut the excursion back to once every two years. Well, at least we won't be bored with you around, Senpai. Gosh, I'm trying to remember the last time I went to Port Island and I wasn't working. <laughs> this will be great! I wish I could be that positive about it. Doesn't this seem like a pain in the ass to anyone else? Some people were against the proposition, but it's been decided. Oh, and guess whose idea it was? King morons! just the kind of thing he'd come up with. I'm personally looking forward to it. No, King Moron! Why must you torture us from beyond the grave? Thank you, King Moron. No, King Moron! You don't even know who that is. Hey, tell me more about <laughs> this trip. Where is Port Island? What's there? Get back to work, will ya? Well, even though the class trip is coming up, it's still a ways away. What should I do until then? Well, it's not like we got much to do here in the first place. Man is just an animal trying to figure out how to kill time through his days. Killed two times with one stone? You made that sound like you were being philosophical. Yet it made absolutely no sense. I don't know, I kind of got it. Just figuring out how to spend your time, because it's also very limited. Sorry. <laughs> I thought it was good, Kanji. Don't let her get to you. I am, Nanako. Oh, thank you. Sweet, so let's equip ourselves a Thief of Daggers. It's way better, too. Oh, no effect, though. No effect, seriously? That is plus 10 strength, though, holy cow. 
I might actually keep the kitchen knife on. Just out of... Yeah, I think I'm going to. Oh, well, that's sad. Okay, so, uh, next time on Let's Play Persona 4 Golden, I guess we're gonna continue school and look forward to that trip to Tatsumi Port Island. I think they have a school there. I think it's called... GeckoCon or something? Hopefully we're going there. So, until then, thank you guys so very much for watching this, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.